Thanks very much for coming in and sitting down with me, Pranima. Um, we're building a new app here for our company. Uh, we're looking specifically at the to-do and, and calendar management space. Um, and so based on the flow that I've laid out here, I'd like to talk to you about a couple of different things that we're seeing with it. Um, so obviously over here, we have a very clear um, screen for creating and editing new events. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm kind of curious to understand initially, uh, coming from the home screen or the, the day at a glance screen, uh, do you see an easy and clear way to create new entries? Yeah, is that using the floating action button? Ah, perfect. Yeah. So the floating action button is a pattern that we've established across our application here. Um, and so we have fabs in a couple of different places. Mm -hmm. um, fab placement has been a, a thing that we've uh, dealt with in the past. Um, and so I'm kind of curious to understand, you know, on these two screens, we've got fabs uh, up near the, the hero section of the page. Um, but over here, we've got a fab down at the bottom of the page. Um, does the, the location of the fab changing, does that cause any issues for you? Or are you comfortable with that? Um, I personally like it with the hero, um, ah, okay. by the hero banner. Um, I don't know why, because I'm able to see all the events down below. So, and then, you know, looking over that, and then I have to go over and search for the flo floating action button mm -hmm. so which is why i feel you know it's actually kind of nice when it's with the hero banner yeah, yeah you know um even with a, such a strong affordance uh, associated with the hero banner you know we can still get at it here uh, on this screen as well um but there is no hero element to associate with yeah. um and so we still end up having to uh roll with it at the bottom of the screen here um one of the things too is that um, one of our concerns is that with a fab of this size, right, mm -hmm. um, that potentially it could obscure some of the information that we're looking at here. Yeah. Um, now, in this case, if we're just looking at that, it's just avatars of the people. But mm -hmm. as you're scrolling through the list, there could be more valuable bits of information. Um, yeah. Do you feel that that would be a real strong problem for our users, or they would be able to work around that with scrolling? I think they would be able to work around that, although, you know, it does look a little, you know, like blocking some of the content, it yeah, might sure. that might happen. But um, I think you know once you get a hang of it, and once you're comfortable with the app, I think eventually like users will get a hang of it. Hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. interesting. Um, uh, so I have one big question. I mean, mm -hmm. Given that this is a sort of a to do in an event management system, mm -hmm. um, do you see a clear way to actually say I'm done with this particular event? Um, do you mean to say by just crossing it off, clearing it from the list, mm -hmm. and just ah. marking? So I think it's these check buttons. Ah, here. very cool. Okay, so yeah. you picked up that affordance quite quickly. Yeah. Um, whereas other uh, participants we've had come through mm -hmm. our study have maybe struggled with that just a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, why do you feel that that affordance jumped out for you so quickly? I mean, you picked up on it really. I think um, it's sort of like the distinguishing factor between one of them was, was checked and the other was not I checked. See. So I figured, okay, this event is probably over or it's mm -hmm. done. So, mm -hmm. you know, you move on and check the rest of them. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's interesting though that in this case, the affordance is just a gray dot. Exactly. Um, so if you were to see three gray dots here and perhaps not the checkbox, do you think that that would stand out as much for you? Um, I think that would be a little confusing a little to, confusing. you know, yeah, okay. what does this button do? Maybe I, mm. I would be curious to try it out and see what happens then. Ah, interesting, you know? okay. So you're willing to um, be a little bit forgiving with the application, uh, try mm -hmm. some things to, to learn yeah. what the pattern is. Interesting. Um, one other big question that's come up in previous feedback is that um, we can only manage those events from this particular screen. Um, do you feel strongly that we would want to be able to manage them from something like the home screen? Uh, the home screen is much more of an at-a-glance screen, and so we did not strongly associate event management there. Do you still feel that that's valuable? Do we need to go that direction? Um, yeah, I think it definitely will be convenient since it's listing out the details of the event, you know, to be able to check it off or um, with respect to, are you talking with respect to details that particularly need to be in the home screen or just about like having to manipulate edit events. It's, it's really solely just about manipulating or okay. editing the events. Yeah, I think um, we could add something like just wiping the event and you know, oh, giving the, the user more options on you know, what they can actually do, like what editing options they actually get. 
while Interesting. doing that function. So if we were to add um, some sort of swiper or, or mm -hmm. some other uh, gesture support to, to one of these screens, what would your expectation be that that gesture would do if we were to, for instance, swipe mm -hmm. across one of these things? Um, from most of the apps that I've used, probably have a delete okay. as well as maybe um, a more that would take mm -hmm. you to a list of functionality like mm -hmm. edit, you know. Would you, would you want to uh, reveal like a hidden panel behind that thing or go with something that's a little more like Google's inbox where it's just task completion? Um, I think I would want um, more of a panel. Ah, that I gives see. Okay. Options, more options. You'd want to see yeah, more yeah, options. Yeah. Interesting. Um, mm -hmm. If we did support something like uh, just a gesture to mark a, a mm -hmm. task complete, mm -hmm. um, not a revealed panel, mm -hmm. um, would you want that that uh, particular uh, entry to disappear? Would you want it to remain on screen? Um, what would be a clear indication aside from just a blue checkbox that this event is done? Um, I I think. The, any event that's done does not like need to appear on the home screen. So I, I'm just thinking why it would have to be on the home screen once the event is over. So um, I would only have maybe like checking it off would mean it's going to disappear from the list. Interesting. Would uh -huh. you have that same expectation of the daily at a glance screen? Um, would you want to see things that have been completed there? Because it sounds to me like in your heads up in, in kind of our, our landing page, you mm -hmm. don't want to see that. Would, but you do want to see it here? Yeah, in the daily um, you know, calendar, like daily event list, I would want to see all the events that have been completed and mm. you know, events that are coming up. Yeah, you know, I think uh, in previous feedback, we got um, an indicator that we would want to see that stuff in case we made a mistake. Right? Yeah. We accidentally exactly. swiped something that we didn't yeah. intend yeah. to. Mm -hmm. um, Okay, um, one last question for you, um, and then I'll let you get back to your work. Um, so the one thing that we haven't talked a whole lot about is how we delete events, right? Okay. It's one thing to say that an event is done, yeah. but I've just made a mistake and have created one. Where would you expect to see delete come out in this UI? Um, so I think delete would be when you swipe the event, you know, okay. just have a red, red delete. Ah, I see. There. So you'd um, want to reveal a panel. Like reveal a panel that says delete and other options, uh -huh. potentially. Uh, but if we were to create like an edit UI like this, where when you tap on one of these things, mm -hmm. you come to an edit UI, mm -hmm. you would see the title, the text, the people. Mm -hmm. um, would you expect to see a delete button on that edit screen as well? Um, I would expect something like a cancel to say that, oh, oops, I, cr I clicked on the new event button mm -hmm. by mistake, so I don't want to create a new event. So, mm -hmm. of course, I know that the up navigation, you know, takes you one page back, but um, I think a cancel button to just like go back to the ah. home screen would be Interesting. useful. Interesting. You want a stronger affordance there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Well, I really appreciate all the feedback that you've given us. This is really helpful in setting the direction and the tone for the next iteration. Thanks for no coming problem. out and helping. Yeah.